you so much. Appreciate you so much. God bless you. Psalm 78. Psalm 78. Thank you so much for each one of you that ministered to us and and, uh, and song and congregational singing. And thank you so much. And uh, special singing and then your presence tonight. I want to say thank you so much. God bless you. It encourages the preacher that you make wise decisions when you do. That encourages the preacher. And also encourages the preacher that you do God right. We're doing the Lord right. And no better place than being in the house of God tonight. I want to thank every, every, every one of you. Every, every one of you. Okay? Appreciate it so much. Okay? Well, praying for you, Liz. She'll be traveling Tuesday. I keep thinking about her and pray that she has a safe trip back to Philadelphia. And uh, pray for him as they travel together. Pray pray the Lord watch over and protect them and and, um, and be in this care. And thank God he's got you here safe. And, and uh, we love you dearly. We want you to know that. We pray for you. Okay? And uh, God bless you, regular precious ones that are here tonight in the church service tonight. Thank you so much. Okay, it's Psalms chapter 78. And so here, um, uh, I want you to see that the generation to come, verse 6, uh, um, might know them, that might know them. Even the children, even the children which should be born, um, uh, there, there, there's a whole group of children raised up in 2019 that don't know uh, the things of God, what God has done. They don't know history. And that's why we've been going over history, going over things in the Bible, going over things that happened in the United States of America, that we may appreciate God. Let them let, let them uh, rise to the occasion and, and, and even do greater things. Amen. History. Amen. History. His, history is good. I love it. Uh, you know, historians um, are all, all over. And uh, God's put, put, put this here that we may benefit, but, but use it for his glory and honor. Look, and, and here we see God's that way, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born. I've learned to love museums. I'm learning to love museums, look at different types of museums, history, uh, civil wars, and uh, reading uh, oh, World War One, World War Two. I, I, I'm learning. You can tell you start you start to watch as as I start talking about history, and um, and that's why we read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, and always bringing things to your mind of what happened in the past, so that we can be better Christians today. Isn't it right? God, that's God's will, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing that wonderful, wonderful museum in Washington D.C. That yeah. black. Um, um, American African um, 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 a museum. That, 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 that's that, that, that's got to be a, 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 a just a blessing there. Amen. And uh, thank God, the Lord, because it's the Lord. Uh, like I said, don't forget, we got to give God the praise. We don't get puffed up. Don't get puffed up. Amen. Ain't nobody better than nobody. Amen. White person ain't better than a black person. Black person ain't better than a white person. Amen. Spanish ain't better than white. Amen. White, uh, Spanish, all the other crazy. We, listen, nobody's better than anybody. Right. God is the is God. We're human beings. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Nobody's superior. That's right. Amen. It's like, like, well, we, we're like animals, like animals. Yep. You see them fight? Yep. You, you, you see that? You, some of you watch that stuff, the wild beast of the jungle and all that. What are they doing trying to be superior? Right. Tearing at each other in uh, right. pieces. Isn't that right? right. It's craziness, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, but uh, it's amazing. Jesus Christ, totally opposite. Mm -hmm. Love one another. Amen. Isn't Amen. that right? Amen. Brothers in Christ, Amen. sisters in Christ. Amen. No Jews, no Gentiles. That's right. Isn't that right? Amen. But anyway, um, the, the generation to come. Now, and uh, who should arise? Underline that. Who should arise? Please under, underline that. Who should arise? Arise! And declare them to their children. Rise up! Amen. Tell them about history. Tell them about what God's done. And, um, and that they might set their hope in God and not what? And not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. Now, this is, this is what we want. As we talk about black history, it should cause us to be better Christians. As we talk about American history, it should be cause us to be better Christians. As we talk about the Bible, what God's did, what God done, uh, and, 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 and all through the Bible, it should cause us to obey. Amen. Be good Christians. Amen. That's right. And, um, and might not be as their fathers, stubborn, rebellious generation, huh? A generation, I don't like this, a generation that set not their heart, what? Right. right. Whose spirit was not, who, who, was not steadfast with God. That's, that's, why, that's why I'm talking about history. That's why we go, we go away, away for, well, through the Bible. We go through the creation and Genesis and how God's great work in him. And he worked with Abraham and worked with Isaac. We worked with Jacob. We worked with Joseph. We talk about Jacob, uh, Joseph. It was, uh, February is Black History um, a, um, a month, um, but as we talk about Black History, what God's done. Let's go back, way back with the. Uh, I always think it's the blacks that suffered. 
Blacks that come a long ways. Blacks are oppressed. No, 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 no. The Jews were, were oppressed. The Jews were whipped. The Jews were beat. Wait a minute. Hold, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. What about Joseph? What about his chains? The Bible says the chains hurt him. What about Joseph? Sold into slavery. What about Joseph? Let's don't forget the way they treated him like an animal. History. History tells us how God helped him. History. And then God raised up nations and kingdoms and captivity and, and all that they went through. Amen. And you read all through the New Testament, the church, how they suffered and how they whipped them and how they beat them. And we read the book of Acts. It's not just black. Not just black. By the way, I found out there were some blacks that had black slaves. We don't talk about that much. There were some blacks that had black slaves. We touched on a little bit about Samuel Morris, the missionary. Grew up as a kid. They would beat him. They would torture him and say, Bring, the tribe would say, bring me the apples. Bring me the bananas or whatever. If you don't, you don't get down here. I'll tell you, I'll sell your children, I'll sell you. Give me some meat. Tribes. Give me some. We will come and ransack everybody. We have a bonus, no kiss. <laughs> yeah, blacks on blacks. Oh, you don't hear about this stuff too much. You don't hear about this. And it got a sad thing now. More blacks are killing each other than whites are killing blacks. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And thank God we're going we're gonna to rise to the occasion and protest against racism. But we better, we, we better, we better deal with the blacks killing blacks. Amen. We better, be, we better be concerned about this stuff here. And so the history, it, it, it helps us to be motivated and motivated and motivated and motivated. Remember the timeline when we're talking about this, okay? And we're talking about um, what God did to slavery and those Christians. And thank God, that, 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 praise the Lord, and many of them. And no doubt about it, singing spiritual songs and singing about God and how God delivered them like he did it, delivered Moses. And th think about the slavery days and, and, the, and, and the faith that they had. And we, we talked about it in, in America and, and it brought here. I know, I, I know in a, in a wrong way, in a bad way. But wait a minute, hold it, friend. Joseph said, you meant it for evil, but God means it for good. And Joseph said, I am in the place of God. Remember we talked about, remember we talked, remember we talked about that? His attitude that no matter what comes my way, no matter what hurt comes, and I talked about the, the black people that suffered and the great spirituals and how they had faith in God and how they loved God and how God used them to get people saved. Uh, we ain't had time to talk about Jasper. Hopefully we'll talk. There's so much in the month of February. You don't get to talk about so much of history. But Jasper preached to great white crowds, big white crowds. We're segregated. We're, they don't want no blacks here. They don't want no blacks there. Yet they were calling for this black preacher. Come, come. Fill up our auditoriums. Amen. Preach to us, you men of God. Amen. Preach to old Jasper Amen. and the power of God on them. Amen. But, they, but there's so much in history. There's so much in history. And so I remember the timeline. And there as they set free, free at last, free at last. And, and the party, don't forget the party turned into a nightmare. Don't forget about the party turned into a nightmare. They were free, they were slaves. But it started getting worse for some of them. It was worse than slavery. At least their masters would say, don't hurt our property that way. But then it turned to when they were free, they were mad. After the Civil War, they're angry. Their children died. Their brothers died. Their sisters died. Their moms died. Their dads died. In the South, trying to hold on to their wealth. They lost their brother. Could you imagine having a million dollars in the bank and ain't got nothing? You're a peasant. And Abraham Lincoln was used of God. You can say what you want to. Abraham Lincoln was used of God to help black people to be free. You have your freedom today. And by the way, we better not, we, we, we pause, black history, we better thank God for the good white people that, that, that did something and said, we got we to gotta stop this slavery. We got to stop and treat, treat them like animals. Amen. Frederick, Frederick, 
Douglas and others that took a stand, you got to remember the timeline. Reconstruction. Reconstruction. We browsed through this in school. Some of you probably remember. We just went through so quickly. We was a comp we weren't a comprehending. You know how we are in school. Yes, sir, Pastor. And we appreciate it now, but when we were, come on, when we were small, we're young in the books, reconstruction. But now we see the importance of it. Yeah, sir. Madness, hatred, so much bitterness, slaves, slave owners, slave children, mass, uh, slave, Jefferson, the president. President Day? President Day uh, tomorrow? President? President Day? No school? What is it? President? President Day. President Day. You know Jefferson preached against slaves? Said real bad against it and had slaves himself? Uh, I'm going to back it up. I'm going to rewind it. Come on now. Come on. Come on. A monument in Washington, D.C. Do you know Jefferson? Thomas Jefferson? Spoke against the slavery? We're all equal. We're all equal, created by God. Did you know while he was preaching, he just had slaves? Did you know he had a mistress, slave mistress? You can Google it. You can YouTube it. Look at the mixed family. Generations, generations finally caught up DNA. It's true. Look at the mixed kids. Look at the young black guy. Presidents they are. Now, it amazes me, the white fundamental preacher, Lamb Glass Martin Luther King, because he has some things that's wrong in his life, but they'll, they'll praise like somebody's Jefferson. They won't talk about the bad in his life. Come on now. But they'll get mad at me because I'll take a stand for Martin Luther King for what he was trying to do for black people. Come on, preacher. Amen. Come on, preacher. Come on, brother. And they'll take out of school some of them, but some of them won't. <laughs> some of them won't. Some of them won't. Some of them won't. They're going to they, they, they gonna stop the school for Martin Luther King's birthday. And they might do it for President's Day. I don't know. I don't know if they will. But some may not. Some may not. They say if we do it for one, we have to do it for Martin Luther King. We don't do it for none of them. But I don't know. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, brother. I'll tell you what, sister. Thank God some people are wise enough to look at the good that Jefferson did and Martin Luther King did and may have wrong, things wrong in their life. But thank God for the positive things they did. I'm not justifying anything wrong somebody does. I'm just saying you better learn to thank God for the good in people. Yes, sir. That's right, Pastor. David tried to kill Saul. I mean, Saul tried to kill David. Saul tried to kill David. <laughs> you, you know, you know. I think I'm for the Holy Spirit. The, the, the Holy Spirit says, "Say what? Well, you got you got that mixed up to me." <laughs> Amen. And I think I, you go with you know what I'm talking about. You know, your picture in Saul trying to kill David. Oh, amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. My biggest David like that. You say, I know what pastor said. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I love you so you would care for you. Say, amen. Amen. <laughs> you got you got you got to know your Bible, friend. <laughs> you know, right? But, but what I was, what I'm saying tonight is 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 is, is David has such a love that's beyond my comprehension. He tried to kill him, and here he is praising Saul. Read your Bible, Second Samuel. Not now. You can read your Bible, your whole Bible in your own time, please. <laughs> God bless you. Some of you gonna try to read the whole book of Samuel right through it. I'm preaching. You're gonna lose the matter of thought here. But but listen, Fred. Think I get that zeal. You want to read it? Read it. Yeah. And that his own son tried to kill him. Oh, Absalom. If your own son tried to take everything away from you, I get so convicted when I read the Bible because I know I need to love. Like he loves. You know? Isn't that so true? Yes, sir. We, we should be able to look good in Martin Luther King. We should be able to look good in Thomas Jefferson. These guys were sinners. These guys were sinners saying, some of them were saved. And listen, look for friends. Some of them were not saved. Look, look, look. Thank 
Can we get to the point where we just thank God for the, look, I told you I went to a Bible college and I, I experienced uh, racism. I told you about the president that, that would, not, would not baptize black people. Blacks could not be members. I told you about that. But I, look, 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 I told you. I graduated from that college. <laughs> Listen, I've, I've learned so much. God taught me. And, 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 and that, that preacher, he, he, he loved me. Amen. Hey, th th those people loved me. I stayed in their homes. Amen. They fed me. They cared for me. They complimented me when I gave a testimony in that church. Yes. Amen. Amen. I was able to look at the good of those people and, and graduate and get what I can get. Would you go to your job this week? Would you go to your job? Stop looking at all the negatives. That's good. That's good. Stop it. Amen. That's good. There's people on the job and complain and complain and complain and complain and complain. I'm guilty. You're guilty. I mean, we just uh, sometimes my wife helped me out. Sometimes just we are, just, we are just, just don't be so negative. Look at the positives. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I get so under conviction. Amen. God bless you. So easy for us, right? In, in history, you're going to find these people are men of clay. They're men of clay. These, these white fundamental preachers, they are, I don't believe they are, they are racist. I, I believe that they were flesh. I believe they were a time of trying to help their flock um, get over, get over racism, get over it, you know, like, you got to deal with drugs. You got to deal with alcohol. You got to deal with lying. They had to deal with racism. Paul had to look Peter in the face and says, "You ain't right. You're you're racist. You're racist. Yes, sir, brother. You you can withdraw from the Gentile. You're right. He didn't use that word racist, but it's a word that's used a lot today. It's used used in the wrong way when, when at times. And there's a right way to use it." Somebody need to be collect, uh, corrected, corrected, correct them. I hate to say it, but there's racist statements that you make, Sonny. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful what you say. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and, and may God help me and help you. And be careful the way we say things. Right? So these, these, these white preachers, you got to understand, under a lot of pressure, under a lot of pressure. And um, I'm not justifying anything. I'm just telling you exactly the way, the way it went down there. Okay? They're, they're building their kingdoms. They're building the kingdoms and building it. And, and, and I'm telling you, thousands of million dollar ministry. They're human beings. God dealt with it. God always would deal with it. That's right. The way they treated blacks and didn't love them and sacrificed like they should, they lost, they lost their churches. They lost their building. They lost their money. Their very children, their very loved ones don't even have a church to go to. Bless the Lord. No, no I don't, don't, don't. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I know, we're going to praise over everything, but I am not rejoicing that, that their family does. I don't wish bad. Jesus said, Jesus said, don't love your enemies. Amen. Said, no. Amen. Jesus said, no. I not eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Yes, don't rejoice. I, I'm gonna praise God, but don't rejoice. I'm sad it happened. Yes, sir. It's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Some of the greatest soul winning fundamental in Atlanta, fundamental soul winning churches didn't even have one black family serving uh, uh, there in these churches. We're allowed to serve in Atlanta. In Atlanta. And today you still got your black church and you got your old white church in Atlanta. Yes. All the black people around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, and the black church, all the white people around. You can't tell me you can't love people, black preacher. You can get them in. Amen. Don't tell me you can't love people. Amen. 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 Thank God this morning that, that beautiful family, that beautiful family, you can tell they're mixed. You can tell they're mixed. Yes, Color.
I was on the bus, driving the bus, and we our bus is packed, and I thank God for it. And I, we rejoice. I said, Lord, we got to thank God. We, th thank God. We got, we got, now, now we, we're getting the bus packed. We got to get a drive-in crowd coming in. Drive-in I mean, we got to get a bigger driving crowd. Somebody's got to support the gasoline. Somebody's got to support the buses. Somebody's got to uh, rise up in an occasion and, and help with the mortgage so we can have such a thing. Keep it going. Amen. Amen. And that family drove in for a third. She said, Pastor, she called me uh, out there in, in, um, in the hallway there after that message I preached this morning. She said, thank you so much for that message. It sure helped me. She said, I travel around this city on 30, a half hour. I was going to go into this place, but I said to my children, what if, what, if, they don't, what if we're not accepted because of our color? She didn't know our church. She didn't know us. But it was God, the Holy Spirit, that brought her to drive in. And nobody here invited her but God Almighty and the Holy Spirit. God knew I would be preaching this message. God see me studying. God see me meditating late at night in the, in the wee hours of the night. And, um, and, and God see me. God see me stir up. Amen. Amen. You can tell I'm stirred up this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At about 2 o'clock, my wife, she knows God bless a wonderful pastor. But God knows. God bless us we are. It's not easy. Not the most quietest one either. <laughs> Get up and the rise up in the morning. And the rise up in the morning at 6 o'clock. And get stirred up to get on that bus for Jesus and to get up to do it for God and to drive that bus and to drive it for God and, and to see the bus packed out and the singing and the preaching and to see you going out in the rain and bringing red, yellow, black, and white. They're all precious in his, in his sight. And to see those beautiful children, we lined them up this morning. All the most beautiful children, red, yellow, black, and white. They're all precious in God's sight. And told every one of them, you're special. No matter what color you are, you're special. Amen. Amen. Yes. I'm trying, trying to Amen. thank you. I appreciate you encouraging the preacher. Amen. So, I want you to understand history. February. Listen, it's a wonderful historic place here filled up. I want us to see it. Oh, I know that must be beautiful. I just love history. I just love, uh, you know, it's so sad, isn't it? They're so angry. Slaves are free, and they're so they're so angry after the war. They're so they're so mad. In the late eighteen hundreds, they're so sad, aren't they? Why? Because now. They got to share the wealth. The love of money is the root of all evil. That's right. Yes, sir. And they're mad because blacks are now getting jobs and, and getting educated. And, and now they're, they're getting some um, education. And now they're going to college. And, and there's so much anger. There's so much hatred. There's so much madness. So much bitterness. So much hatred. I believe about 500 hangings. Moms, dads, brothers, sisters, children. The late 1800s, up in the time of Emmett Till, the paper. The paper. Quietly, secretly, they're trying to get the world's attention. Nobody could imagine there were white people in the north that says, "Ain't no way in the world this could be happening." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They were getting away with the craziest things with blacks and 
torturing blacks and putting them in prison, putting them in jail. Remember the time frame. Remember the time frame. How they became slaves in jail, in prison, and, and became property of the state. Remember that. Remember, remember them being hanged in courthouses and, 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 and all kind of laws against them. All kind, remember the, remember the Jim Crow law, remember the things we talked about, uh, the things they said. These people are not 100% human. Right. Right. They, 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 these blacks are not, they're, they're, they're not 100%. And remember uh, that, that the laws that were passed, any color, you had any kind of color, any kind of color. Laws are passed. You don't come to the front of the bus. Bus, you come in the back. We don't even want to look at you. If you're walking this way and a white person comes this way, you better get in the mud. If you come to a driving stop sign, you're both getting there, you better let the white one come first. All kind of laws they were passing in the South. No, you're not coming into school. No, you're not coming to this college. Remember the hateful laws. Segregation. Now, the time frame, the murder of this boy, and now it's, it's in the south where it happened. He lives in Chicago. He's up north. Now remember what's happening. All the think about it. Did you forget? Don't forget the riots. Knoxville, Tennessee. The, the back black cultural center tomorrow. They'll be emphasizing it um, in, in town. Um, right here in Knoxville, the heat, uh, the red heat, the summer, the bloodshed, the red heat of the summer, right Knoxville. Every major, just not every major, many major cities were having riots. Oh, remember, don't forget the, the, the time frame. Elaine riot, Arkansas, Elaine, there, a massacre, a massacre. Were they every little black children, teenagers, gunned down, adults gunned down, shot down? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. The, 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 the massacre. The, 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 the just, they, just, they just slaughtered them. Many of blacks. And don't forget how they were let go. Don't forget the riots. Don't forget. See the time frame. That boy, you have the blacks on this side, you have the whites on this side. There's an unimaginary line. It wasn't a rope where you don't go over with the white side. It's just supposed to imagine black people at the beach, white people at the beach. Blacks are not allowed to go to the white. The white side. White's not allowed to go to the place. They stay in. Well, the boy drifted over. Don't forget, they shot the rock. He drowned. He drowned. He drowned. Drowned. They went to tell the police officer, the white police officer. He laughed. He chuckled or whatever. He did nothing. Well, there was, a, there, was, there was a brick riot all over the heat of the summer. Started all over the country. Don't forget that happened. And don't forget after the riots. Don't forget all that took place and the hatred after that. And, 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 and working, working your way up. Working your way up five years before I was born in 1960. Here, here we are after all that, after all this stuff. Five years before I was born. Five years before I was born. 1955. Are you getting history? Are you understanding what's happening? 14? Elijah! 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 Stand up, Elijah. His age. Now I say he was he was a more huskier. Elijah getting tall. Get tall, son. He get tall. He's getting tall. But look, look at your hand now. Look at your hand now. Look at, look at, you, you see the picture of him? You see the picture of him? Look at your hand now. Should be a picture there. 
Under there. Oh, the boy? Yeah, here you go. Got a picture of him. Get your hand out. This picture of him. Look at your picture. Look at your hand out. See it? See him? Elijah's age. My son's age. See it? Chicago. Visiting Mississippi. I told you this morning how I dropped from 80s, 1980s to 60s and 50s when I went to different parts of the country. He went from Chicago, went from Mississippi. He went way, he went way down. He was naive. Remember I told you how I was naive up in um, Bible College? I'm from Connecticut. I was naive as a young person, not, not understanding all this racism. I went into Bensonhurst, New York, sold in by myself where they burnt black people. They burnt him alive. But I went soul winning in these areas by myself. I wasn't understanding right. I was naive. Tall white guy, did you forget? He's tall, looked like he was six feet. I knocked on his door in the white areas where they had race, race riots. I was unaware of it. He looked at me, he says, get in here. And I went in. His house, you don't do that. I went in the apartment, did you forget? Some of you never heard this before. He started talking about chopping and killing, chopping people up. He talked about blood. How many remember I told this? Yep. How many never heard it? Okay, you're going to hear it today. Okay. Hey. So, so I'm thinking this is my end of my life here. Hit the door shut. Nobody's there but me and them. He has nothing in his apartment but a chest. What's in that chest? I don't know. No table, no chairs, just a crazy sick white man. Make a long story short, he came to church with me that night. To this day, I don't know what happened. Like a robot, like a zombie, he walked out of the service like he was in a trance. And I never seen him again. I don't know what he was going to do with <laughs> I don't recommend you doing that. Wake up! I don't recommend you doing that. I don't recommend you doing that. I, I, I encourage you to care for souls and care, but, but I was naive. I was naive. I was understanding the racial divide. I told you they tried to bomb my friend's house because they found out I was staying with him on the weekend. A black guy was staying. He was helping a college student over the weekend. Staying in his home. He didn't tell me later until I graduated. He didn't want to scare me. I was very naive. This boy was naive. You see that? He was very naive. He didn't think nothing of going to Mississippi, flirting with a white girl. By the way, I don't know exactly what happened. But whatever happened, it did not justify for her husband to take his eyes off. It didn't justify torturing him and beating him where his face is so disfigured. Don't even look like him. He swelled up in the casket, open casket. Doesn't justify lynching him and hanging him and throwing him off naked and torturing the boy. I didn't mention it this morning, but the big fat white sheriff said we don't want them nigger NAACP people coming bothering us during this trial. What? Big fat white racist southern draw. Said them niggers ain't gonna come down here messing us up. And when them niggers and them niggers come down here, he said, them niggers gonna sit up sit alone in this courthouse. We ain't having that stinking integration here. It is wicked. I heard them white fundamental Baptists blast the NAACP and laugh about it, and joke about it, but I don't see them helping. Um, not one time have I heard in history to try to help Emmett. 
And fundamentalism has got the closest thing to God, the strongest and the best and the and, and, and the greatest. And, and, and there's nothing as closer as fundamental. We are independent fundamental Baptists. If you find anything else, we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll be coming. Nothing is closer than a fundamental Baptist soul when it's separated. And I'm telling you something, friend, there's nothing closer than an independent fundamental Baptist. Jesus is the head. And I'm talking about a church. I'm talking about a church that teaches the doctrines about hell, about heaven, about the virgin birth. I'm talking about churches that know better. I'm trying. Thank you, I'm trying. Black people don't deserve just the crumbs. Black people doesn't just deserve the back of the bus. Black people, don't, don't, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. I'm talking about God, Jesus died for black people. Jesus loves black people. Jesus loves white people. Jesus loves Spanish people. Jesus loves all kinds of people. Nobody should deserve, nobody should, hey, I'll tell you what, Jesus said preach the gospel to every creature. Jesus, Jesus Christ said that. Couldn't go to the hospitals. Let them die. They're black. They're colored. Jesus died for them. Accept them. Have, be no respect to persons. Jesus said, be no respect to persons. They said, no. They're colored. They're black. They cannot vote. And we will not have them vote. Jesus said, I died for them. Jesus said, I love them. Jesus said, I, I, I care for them. And, and you I love them. And, 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 and you, you're no better. Somebody say, man. you may think you're better because your skin is lighter. You may think you're better because you're a foreigner. You may think, somebody say, Jesus died for everybody. He loves everybody. Black people. Colored people. Say you can't have that job. You can't be the manager. You can't be the owner of the business. Let me tell you something, white man. Let me tell you something, black man. If God be for me, who can be against me? Somebody say, raise your head up high, black boy. Raise your head up high, white boy. Raise your head up high if you got Jesus in your heart. Pick up your head. Amen. Amen. <laughs> to get stirred up, ain't I? Amen. So, I, I want you to know that black, some of the black preachers are not, they're, 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 they're not for, well, some of them ain't for it, what I'm trying to do today. And some of the white preachers are, they're, they're not crazy about this. Back to your Bible, Psalm 78. Back to your Bible, Psalm 70. That the generation to come might know them. So the college chapel pastor says, the college pastor says of the Bible college, this should not be, this, this should not be addressed. You shouldn't talk about it. The independent fundamental Baptist white preacher says, no, no, no. Church is, church is not for this. For, the, for, for you to be talking about this. And some of the black ones. Verse 4, we will not what? Verse 4, we will not what? Hide them from their what? I'm not hiding it. I'm not going to hide it. I am not going to hide what God has done. I am not going to hide how God has delivered a black people. I am not going to hide how God has changed things. And I'm not going to hide the fact that we are an independent, fundamental, Baptist, soul living church and reaching different nationalities. And I am not going to hide the fact that God has brought us out of this stinking slavery. God has brought us out of this stinking Jim Crow law. God has brought us out of this stinking oppression. And I thank God. I thank God. I'm an independent, fundamental, Baptist, black preacher. I thank God. I, I was able to go to a Bible college of, of a bunch of white people where, 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 where decades before a black person could not go. I was somebody would say, man, I thank God that God has raised me up here to be the pastor in Knoxville in a racial stinking place in the land, in the south, in the deep south. In the south. 
Martin Luther King got a bullet in his head tried to straighten out this stick and jug in Knoxville, in Atlanta, in Memphis, in South Carolina, in North Carolina. I'll tell you something, independent fundamental Baptist white preacher. I'm not for the liberalism of some of these preachers that Martin Luther King was gathering together with. I'm not for yoke it up with Muslims and Catholics. And I'm not for getting together in an ecumenical movement. But I'll tell you something worse than getting with that crowd is the way you acted would not baptize black people, white preacher. Would not let blacks be members while you holler to get Martin Luther King walking down with the bishops and the cardinals and the popes. At least they wanted to rise and try to do something about Mr. Emmett type of stuff. I'm not into women preachers, white independent fundamental Baptist preacher and black one. But I'll tell you what's worse is when you got sticking racism in your heart. You don't take a stand for God like you should. Amen. That's right, brother. Amen. At least them Catholics had enough guts to try to help the man. Yes. I'm not into an ecumenical movement, you know that, and I'll never will be. I'll tell you what I will be for. For a man that's trying to do something to help black people. Amen. When they were treated like sticking hogs and animals. And in their Bible colleges teaching them uh, that, 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 uh, that uh, uh, here it is. Here, here it is. Uh, here, here, here's a man got his eyes plucked out. Here's a man that got a bullet in his head. Here's a man that uh, uh, said for flirting with a white girl. The same token, you you were saying it's a sin. It's a sin for them to date and a sin for them to get married. And you went as far as to say, white preacher, you went as far as to say is God is for segregation. You went as far as to say that God is for segregation, that we should not come together. We'll do better off with the black people stay on their side of their tracks with their black church, and we'll stay on our side. We'll never get along. We can't get along. And the government should never try to force it. And they still say that. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. I believe. <laughs> I believe when the government is striving to be like God. And for the good of mankind. It is not going to hurt. It's going to help. We ought to go that route. And that's all Martin Luther King was saying. If we do things right, the government is supposed to be there for our protection, supposed to be there for our help, supposed to be right there. Not a hurt, but a help. A help. A help. Straighten out this stinking mess, man. Amen. Amen. Come on, straighten it out. Amen. Amen. Come on, here, here. Oh, look, this type of stuff's been going on for so long. By the time Martin Luther King, hey, by the time Martin Luther King came on the scene, this mama, oh, by the way, that's her. That, 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 you wonder who's that, who's that lady over there? That's the lady he's supposed to have flirt with. Carolyn Bryant. Yes. Carolyn Bryant. Some of you wonder who's that, who's the, who's the other lady? I believe, I believe today she's up in her 80s. She don't look like this. She's the last one living. I believe she's the last one living out of this whole ordeal. You got the guys. I don't know what they did to this tongue. The mother looked at the tongue. And I don't know what they did to that tongue. I don't know if they cut the tongue. Oh, by the way, I didn't, I didn't hear that part. It is said... 
they, they're supposed to cut off his secret parts. I guess they don't want to put that in there. That's good. I'm glad it's not in there. We don't want to see that. So they cut the boy's secret parts off. Before Martin Luther King, before the Freedom Riders, before the protests against injustice, what they did to the boy. Oh, thank you, Brother Burley. He brought it out and did some study on it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Those old guys that did that, they're, not, they're dead. They're gone. They're gone. Those guys are gone. Those guys are gone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Those guys died. He said some of them, one of them went blind. His mother seen the eye on his cheek in the casket. The other one died, in, by the way, in the 60s. One of cancer. Oh, by the way, this lady here, she's up in age now. Now, there's different things that are said about her. It is said that it, it, she recanted it. It didn't happen that way. The boy didn't act, the boy didn't act that way. And he sure did this deserve what, the way he was treated. Ferguson and Baltimore City. See, they, 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 these, these, you got to understand, this is only one, there's only a few things. I, 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 I study something today. Elijah, here go Elijah again. Stand up, son. <clears throat> Your height, not being husky like um, Emmett here. Elijah? Now watch this. He went to the electric chair. Guess what? After years of testing, after death row, your age, South Carolina, they said they made a mistake. Got a confession out of him. And it said he, hold, he held his Bible, Elijah. It said he held his Bible. He held his Bible before he went to the electric chair. They took the Bible because it was so small. He wasn't husky. They used it as a booster seat in the Bible. Black boy in South Carolina. We may talk about it later. We may get a copy of it to you. 14 years old. <coughs> Supposed to have killed an 11 year old girl. Whatever. But they made a mistake. They said the pieces couldn't even fit over his head and jolted him. Didn't die for the first jolt. Took about second jolt. Two, two, two jolt. Jolt. So, um, you can say, see, think so. And um, um, electricity. Elijah, electricity. Fourteen years old. And you're not going to thank God for our laws we have today. And you're not going to get disturbed of this stinking crazy president up in Virginia. I mean, I'm crazy governor in Virginia. Wants, wants, wants the babies to be born and kill the baby if the mother wants to kill it after birth or right before it comes out. I'm sorry, Evan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But let me tell you something before Evan. There have been babies that have been ripped apart. Legs and arms are sold to the people in our country. No nation. No country has done such wickedness. Yes. I'm sorry what happened to this boy, but I want you to know the eyes. I want you to know the body. I want you to know kids. Abortion is murder in every day, every day. Like here and kill the babies. Every day, every day, millions of babies have been slaughtered. And you know, if you can't thank God for the freedoms we have, You know, I, uh, we didn't talk about the witnesses. Okay. You go in the black community. It's already happened here in Knoxville. 
This happened in Chicago. It's happening right now. Boom! Blow them away. Torture. Um, go to the neighbor that's seen it. Oh, I'm sorry. I ain't seen nothing. No, I can't identify him. Look the guy in the face. You know why. You know why. You know why. You know why they won't go to court. They know they won't be. They won't be. They won't be around next week. In this case, brother, they were disappearing. They they stood up for this guy. Those black people were this brother. They were off the planet. So that happened. To so some of them got tongue tied. They would say nothing. His daddy had to get out of there and go fast and leave everything. Like leaving your home. Leave, leave out of this. Wow. But the thing I admire, the thing I admire is that mama. The faith that she had to say, I want that casket to be open because I want my son's body to be used to save many a black oppressed Because I told you about 500 lynchings, late 1800s, up into 1955. The lynchings, the hangings. Oh, by the way, did you see on the news last week? Did you see some of you see that? There was a big uproar because they had a noose and a hanging and a shirt that they were selling in the store. You know what white people did? They laughed at that. <laughs> I'm no doubt. They, 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 people overreacted. The lynching of black people is the most gruesome, inhumane thing that white people did to a black people. All over you see them hanging on trees, hanging at the white, at, at different um, courthouses, and, and use them as examples. Of, you want to really keep trying to vote? You really want to get your vote card? We'll see your mother hung. You really want to get your kids in school? We're going to see you hung in different different parts of the South. Oh, oh, you, you really want your son to go to that white? You, you really want your son to go to all white college? We'll find him hanging. Threats. Oh, you really trying to move in this you, you, uppity nigger? You really trying to be an uppity nigger? I'm going to tell you what we do with uppity niggers here. You don't even try it again. This is going on. This is going on around the country. And it's in the South. I mean, nobody's doing anything about it. I mean, this is one mother. This is one mother. So what she says, I admire her faith. You know what she said? Open the casket. I want all to see him. I want him to be used as... as as, 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 as Jesus would die for people and shed his blood, may, may my son be you. By, by the way, by the way, I, don't get don't get on this kick. Why God? Why why God? I don't understand if God is God. Is, oh, look, before you gripe and complain, you create the world. You let the world spit on you. You create the world. You let the world nail you to the cross. You create the world. You become sin for man. You create the world. You die. You raise yourself up. You suffer. You let them beat the meat off your back. You let them see the inner organs of your body. You're talking about Emmett's face. What about Jesus' face? He was marred more than any man. You look at this boy in the casket. You look at him swelled up. You look at him. Look at him. I can't imagine, my son Elijah. We love you so much to put you in front. We love you so much to put you right here in front. We love you so much to get something in your heart, down in your heart, that you may not grow up wrecking and ruining your life and trying to save you from a bunch of stinking hell. Amen. 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 Your mama loves you so much. Amen. 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 I love you teenagers enough to preach to you and scream at you. I loved you enough and still love you enough. Keep you from the wrong man that will slap you. 
that will hit you. Amen. That prevent you from getting raped. Amen. Prevent you from getting sticking murdered. Amen. What's wrong with you, some of you young people? Amen. Trying to save you from a bunch of sticking heartache. Amen. Bunch of bad relationships with boyfriends and girlfriends. Try to get you a godly marriage, a man that'll love God, a woman that'll love God. Amen. Try to get you away from the stinking alcohol, dope. Right. Right. Trying to get you, hey, trying to get you, get, get you to have joy. Amen. Not a bunch of hell when you have kids. Amen. Gotta go see a mother's, ma da daddy's baby's mama, daddy's baby's daddy. Come on, come on, I want to go through hell. No! Trying to save you from the stinking court mess. Amen. Amen. Trying to keep you from the whoremongers. Amen. Trying to keep you from the whores. Amen. 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 Amen, Pastor Barney. Amen. 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 God's name. It's only by the grace of God there's not a funeral. It's only by the grace of God God ain't took some of them out. Skipping church tonight. Sticking somewhere where they want to be doing their own thing. But thank God he don't take them out. Yes. You better praise God for his grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. Watching wicked things on TV. But thank God he'll strike them dead. Amen. On their phones. Amen. Good as God's been. Amen. Amen. Give them apartments. Give them homes. Amen. Amen. Dating stinking heathens. On, don't even go soul with it. Don't even want to work on a bus route. Don't want to do nothing in church. Oh. Nothing. Don't even want to clean. Some of them don't even want to tithe. They're so stinking low down. They don't even want to tithe a 10%. Oh. How wicked can you be? Yes. Yes. Before you ever complain to God. In Psalm 78. You read that whole chapter. You're, do, do, do it right now. You do it when you go home. How they forgot God. Yes. As good as God been. That's why I want to study black history. There's many of black people forgotten God. Yes. With the wicked MTV. Oh, and the wicked BET. All the sticking wicked fornication. Rappers and hip hoppers. And oh. little tight pants. That has looked like a sticking whore. Oh, no. Little mini skirts. Oh. Show half their breasts. Oh. Dancing around. Tattooing their body like a bunch of stinking jailbirds. Sodomite, sodomy. Even the black community, a bunch of sodomites of them. Yes, right. Never would think of that black people would become sodomites. Dope. Before you ever criticize God. Let him save people. Put them in a good church, a good Christian home. Yes, right. Moms and dads that will love them right. and grow their hair out like a stinking girl. It is a shame for a man to have long hair. They don't even care about what mama thinks and daddy thinks. Throw a stinking earring on there or look like a, the ear look like a little girl. You love them. And you give your life to them. They start dating some punk. And pick the punk over mom and dad. And then end up getting hurt. Come on, bro. Come on. Yes, sir, bro. Grow them up now. You grow them up. You grow them up. And they grow up and they're smarter than mom. Yep. Smarter than dad. Yep. Hey guys, walk around here and thank God for you. Praise God for you. And I love you. But if you had your your way, you'd look like a bunch of Farrakhan people with all bow ties on. You guys look like Farrakhan's group. Come on, come on, bro. Come on. We will have it at the banquet. Thank God so much. You look nice. You look wonderful. We had a, a banquet style. Amen. 
But I tell you, when they're in church service, brother, and they're in church service, I, just like the Marine got their uniform, and I told you, just like the Army got their uniform, I'm telling you what, Grace Bible Baptist Church, we got our uniform around here for the men, and that is look like Marines for Jesus. I, I tell you, a Marine may not want to wear a white shirt, and may not want to look sharp, but I tell you, as long as you're a Marine, as long as you want to keep rank, and as long as you're somebody help me out. Amen. Amen. You can want every bow tie you want, every color shirt you want. When you're a Marine, you're a Marine. Amen. Right. Amen. Louis Farrakhan is a racist himself. Louis Farrakhan don't believe Jesus is God. Don't believe he's the only Savior of the world. Don't believe you're saved by grace. According to Louis Farrakhan's preaching, he's going to hell. And we got to pray that he gets saved. But many of blacks, many of blacks, many of blacks are turning to Louis Farrakhan. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because they believe he's the answer after seeing all this stuff. They don't want nothing to do with white people. They're blaming good white people. You don't blame good white people for this stuff. That's right. Amen. 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 Before you complain to God, I am. This is the mother. This is the mother of the child. On YouTube, you can listen to her speak. Google it. Or Listen to her talk. She, she's older. Talk to her. She's older. She, she'll talk. She'll talk to you. She'll talk to you. When she talks about God and about her son, how he was tortured, and her unwavering faith in God, it makes me think about Job when Job said, Though he slay me, I'll trust him. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know God can raise my boy back up from the dead. The black church. <laughs> it makes me appreciate Brother Burley's the tree from Atlanta more than ever before. Or ever before from the black church. I I didn't grow up in black church. My precious wife, my sweetheart wife, didn't grow up in the black church. She was Catholic. White. White. Terryville, Terryville, Connecticut. Portuguese people do not consider themselves black African American. I told you her daddy said, don't bring no nigger baby ever. But I loved him. I want him. <laughs> I love him. Sister Barnett lived such a Christian life. She hugged his neck back there. Right back there, she hugged him. Daddy gets saved. And wept. And he got saved right back there. Somebody ever called my kids a nigger, he'd kill them. <laughs> Sister, and, and Sister Barnett, her mama, see, she looks colored. She looks like black African-American. She's Portuguese. Her mother taught Portuguese. Her dad taught Portuguese. I will not dare tell you what her mother told her to say when somebody calls her a nigger. Something about your mama, something to do to your mama. We won't, we won't, we, we won't talk about that. We won't, we won't talk about that. You just, that... That nigger word. When they shot my brother. When they shot my brother. When they shot him. When they caught the guys. Had a trial. Before his final imprisonment. He was screaming out. Before he went to prison. It's on the front page of the paper. 
it's, it's on the front page of the paper <laughs> that he was yelling out to some black girls, nigger, nigger, nigger. I, I, I'd rather for you to, to stand up like that because then they laugh and people's going to think when they hear this that they're laughing at that. But they're not, they're not laughing at the guy calling the black girls niggers. So you got to be very careful with that, okay? So at, no more when I mention niggers, stand up like that. I use that word. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but I use it deliberately so that you can picture in reality and educate your kids. You don't never call a person that. Nope. Never. Right. And these white people need to educate their kids and these black. And I, I told you, don't hide it. What God has done. To call anybody a nigger. I went to Bible college. The preacher's wife would say they came to me, Bob, Bob, Bob. I was at the pastor's wife and she said, look at them niggers on the news. Look at them niggers. Preacher's wife. I want you to explain They can get mad, they can huff and puff. They can blow this house down. We're educating people. Hey Amen, we're educating people. You kids are learning, never say that word. You're going to hear it a lot. You're going to hear it a lot. Never tell us to say that to a person. Those are fighting words. Those are hating words. When we were soul winning, and guy be loves, and our great soul winners, red, yellow, black, and white, were together. Got on the elevator. That white guy so mad we're out knocking on doors. And said, he said, niggers, go home. Right? Thank God you had restraint. Thank God Martin Luther King said 1 Corinthians chapter 13. He, he taught love your enemies. He taught Martin Luther King taught um, agape love. Martin Luther King said love is the only thing that we can use as a weapon that's going to change this thing. And it got changed. He said, if you do it the other way, it's not God's way. That's what he taught. While he's calling nigger, he loved. I told you Malcolm X was mad. Now, black people were mad. At he dresses church. He met with his church. It's a church. We, we got to have love. Amen. We got to have love. Amen. He said, we don't need no all black church and we don't need no all white church. He says, it's got to change. Amen. It's got to change. It's got to change. And the change is made today Amen. in Grace Bible Baptist Church and throughout the land. Amen. Throughout the land. That's why I'm bringing this up here. I want these white preachers to get stirred up. Amen. But they don't have no black people in their church. I want them to go get them. Amen. Black preachers, I want them to get stirred up. Amen. They don't have no blacks. Amen. I understand you're in Memphis. I'm sorry. And I'm praying for you. But if you got to go down to the rescue mission like we do, and thank God, Lerod, to see you go in that rescue mission, Brother Tim, to go inside that rescue mission Amen. and come out with some white guys. Amen. Those black guys can do the same thing. Amen. Amen. Give them some food to eat. Amen. Amen. Quit saying we got to be all black. We're in Memphis or not still. That's right. Amen. They Amen. told me when I first came down, I don't think you could get it done. I don't believe it could be done. So I'm just stirred up. I'm stirred up to try to educate the white preacher that the history of blacks. Amen. You're going to have to love them. You're going to have to go the extra mile. I'm careful. And black preachers going to have to go the extra mile and let white people know we're not blaming them for slavery. Farrakhan says all the white people got to get the money, take up an offering, and get black people back to Africa. And you got to give us an island. 
Now, where's the island going to be to put a black people? He wants millions. Restitution. All this stuff that's going on, Evan, uh, Evan all this stuff that happened in lynchings. He's blaming good white people today. Give us the money. The Farrakhan, give us the money. Send the ones that want to go back to Africa. You brought us there. We're born in America. I love this country. You love your country, don't you? I'm not going there, back to Africa. I didn't come from Africa. My forefathers, forefathers came from Africa. My four forefathers came from Africa. I didn't come from Africa. This is my country. Amen. This is my flag. Amen. This is my nation. Amen. This is my country. So, may God help us. Yes. My sister, Pastor, from Atlanta, his daughter looks like is going to marry a white guy. That's what it looks like. I appreciate God working in his heart, in his wife's heart. Well, he's not a stinking racist. Amen. I got a sister pastor who's not a stinking racist. Amen. 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 Do you know how many white assistant pastors teach it's a sin for a, a white boy to marry a black woman? Like your wonderful daughter is less than a white girl. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, brother. Yes, sir, Pastor. That's what they're teaching. Yes, they do. They teach it, brother. They teach it. That our black boys are not good enough for their white girls. My wonderful daughters, beautiful daughters. Could you imagine because of the color of their skin, they're worried about what the family reunion is going to be like and what their kids are going to have to go through. Do you know two weeks ago, Fundamental Baptist Church, if there's anything better, we'll go to it. Find it. We'll, we'll go. I can't find anything better where people are talking. It's still in their minds, said to me, not in a racist way, but in really caring, really caring, said, you know, the, like Kimberly, you know, the one that looked like she's going to marry? Not, not in a, a racist way, but do you know what they're going to have to go through? Yes, but I know other Christians that have suffered a lot more. I know a number of Christians that were fed to lions. They went to prison. That believed they were doing what God wanted them to do. As long as those, those, those young people honor their parents, Honor the man of God. Serve God. They love God. If they want their kids to go through something, if they got to deal with their in-laws, if they got to deal with the race bearer, that's their life. Let them live it. That's their choice. All that matters is that he treats you like a queen. And he loves God. And that girl treats you like a king. Amen. 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 Amen, Pastor. Amen. We come a long ways. All right. From a boy that get his eyes gouged out. And thrown over the bridge. But the bullet, oh, she said she could see the other side of her, his head. With the bullet, you can see the other side, daylight. 
when she looked at her son. Ears cut off. Well, look at the picture. Don't even look like him. Matter of fact, they try to use that and say, let them free. Let those guys free because you can't prove this is really the boy. How would you know he's the boy? Look at him. Does it look like him? Does it look like him? Let, let Kimberly know we come a long ways. We come a very long ways. We come a very long ways. Yes, Just let her know God to deal with all black lab people. There's just been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of hurt. And by the way, son, when you date that white girl and you marry her, I want you to know there's a lot of deep hatred. There's a lot of deep racism. There's a lot of madness over the Civil War that they ain't gone over yet. And the Civil Rights Movement riots in Detroit and Knoxville. That them older grandparents going to have to get over it. And white preacher, you that are scared to death having me as a black man to preach. You need to get over it. We have the white ones here. Amen. Amen. And it's time you get them on your staff, get them on the platform. It's time we get some white ones in Spanish. Amen, Pastor Barnett. Amen. 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 Oh, uh, I ain't got no problem like this woman had. I, I just pray that God will help me to stay faithful if I ever go through something. I don't know what my tomorrow's going to bring. I just don't want to throw this on the floor. I, I hope to God, God can help me to keep going. Uh, my dear wife, may God help her. May God help me. Pray for me. I'm not going to brag on what I'm going to do. I'm just asking you to pray for me. I don't know what tomorrow holds. But that woman, when I think about her, I think about Job. His ten kids died. Lost his friends, lost his money. His wife said, curse God and die, you fool. And said, I wish I was never born. Curse the day I was born, God. He, he said, sorry. He said, sorry. I should have ran him out. He was such a hurt. He's in so much hurt. I believe Emmett's mother went through a stage like that. And I believe that God did something in her heart like Job. Where she says, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to trust God. He's going to use my boy to change history. And I'm going to trust God. And I'm going to believe God. Father, help us have faith. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I don't know what heartache my kids may bring me. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I just ask you to give me grace. Help my wife. I know, I know, God, it hurts in life, things that happen. But ain't none of us going through hurt like this woman. Help me. These boys have it rough in school, but they don't have it rough like this boy. They don't have it rough like this boy. They don't have it rough. 